If I win the presidency, I guarantee you that those four prisoners are back in our country before I ever take office. I guarantee that. They will be back before I ever take office because they know that's what has to happen, okay? They know it, and if they don't know it, I'm telling them right now. All right, Donald Trump, welcome to Give Me Five. See, I thought he was fantastic yesterday. I thought he was great yesterday. And then, of course, you wake up and you find out about the remarks about Carly Fiorina and that Ben Carson was uh, an okay doctor. You should check that out, he said to CNN. Only an okay doctor. Come on, the man was a genius of a doctor, of a surgeon, of a neurosurgeon, a brain surgeon, if you will. All right, so anyway, um, so here's some more of what... Uh, you know, what Trump said yesterday at the rally in D.C., which I thought, I just thought, he, you know, he's typical Trump uh, saying it like he means it and like it is. Watch. Our president is calling the person who is really the boss in Iran supreme leader. And I look at people shaking their heads. They can't believe it. But it just came out a little while ago. He said Israel will not exist in 25 years. Think of that. He just said this. Yep. The uh, Obama's buddy, who he reached out to before he even told us he did, who he trusts, who he has kowtowed down to. Who knows? Maybe if he ever meets him, he'll bow to him like he bowed to the king of Saudi Arabia and has bowed to other leaders. Literally. He's already bowed to Iran figuratively, time after time. Uh, yes, that Ayatollah. Uh, vows that there'll be no Israel in 25 years. Isn't that wonderful? Here's more. He also said very strongly, very, very strongly, that this is the end of our dealings with the United States. We want nothing more to do with them. We're not going to do anything right here. We made this deal. It's a phenomenal deal. We're not going to deal with the United States anymore. And that's what he just said. And this was a very short period of time ago. So... They rip us off, they take our money, they make us look like fools, and now they're back to being who they really are. Yep, who they really are. They are anti-American, they are anti-Israel, they hate Jews, they hate Americans, they kill Americans, they kill Jews, uh, you know, through IEDs in Afghanistan and, and elsewhere, and through Hezbollah and their other terrorist proxies, they kill Israelis, and Obama loves them. Obama respects and admires and loves Iran the way he despises and hates Israel. That's, the, that's who Obama is. Whenever he says, that's not who we are, that's not who we are, he doesn't speak for me. He's my president, but he doesn't speak for me when it comes to who we are, because I am not who he is in any respect and i don't mean race i mean any political aspect so when he says it's not who we are it's not who he is he doesn't speak for me as to who i am as an american more they don't want israel to survive they will not let israel survive with incompetent leadership like we have right now israel will not survive and then when it's all done or they think it's all done they come out with these unbelievable nasty statements that Israel won't be around in 25 years and that we have no dealings and we will have no further dealings with the United States. Yep, and it's not only Israel. The intercontinental ballistic missiles will be able to hit us. Us. And Obama knows this more. Now the people that we were negotiating with and were working on the sanctions with including, and as an example, Russia, who's send, selling tremendous missiles to Iran. You know that. Ballistic missiles being sold. All of these countries, all of these countries are going to do business with Iran. They're going to... All right. So it goes on and on and on. He was right on target with Iran. He has 32% in the latest CNN poll. He's surging. Let's see how the remarks about Carson and Carly... Uh, if they come back to bite him. I don't know. Thanks for watching.